So if you're a Notre Dame fan at this point, I, 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 I just it's like a different coach and the same sort of crap happens every single time, right? Notre Dame is, I mean, trust me, they're going to win a lot of football games this year. There's no doubting Notre Dame's ability to win. Um, you know, they have a really, really good coaching staff. They got, they got the talent way. I mean, trust me, they have way better talent, even with Brian Kelly being there. The talent is definitely there for them. They're going to win 10 games at least. No one was ever questioning their ability to do that. The question, though, was that against these top-ranked power, uh, power five schools, can they win? Can they compete? Right? Not, you know, can, can they get the dub? And it's just, once again, they just can't really get the job done. So, once again, a lot of people will say that Notre Dame is one of the most overrated programs in college football. And, you know, it is what it is. Now, again, we got I, I w I'm going to give Notre Dame credit because this was a competitive football game. Even though I think the uh, you know the odds was like what seventeen and a half, you know Ohio State won this game by eleven points. Granted, Jackson Smith and Jigba was was hurt this game, and 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 obviously it affected the game plan and the rhythm of Ohio State's offense. By the way, Ohio State, welcome to the life of an Alabama fan. This is the same. This is the crap we had to deal with over the last eight months of losing two of our best receivers and Bryce Young pretty much throwing it to to, to backup receivers. Now you understand exactly how we feel. Because I didn't see the see I didn't see the immortal CJ Stroud that every Ohio State was claiming he was better than Bryce Young. So uh, yeah, I hope that you kind of finally understand exactly what a Bama fan had to go through over the last eight months. However, we'll go back to this. You know, Notre Dame's defense was really freaking good today. I was extremely impressed of how, of, of how well did the, you know of their secondary because. Even with Kyle Hamilton, right, that was still a little bit more of a concern. That was still in a way still a, a little bit more of a weak spot for that team last year. But the from, from the interior, from your linebacking spot to your, to your secondary, you guys were on it. I mean, Notre Dame did their thing tonight. And they did the best they could to get this uh, to, to, to really get this offense back into rhythm. But you kind of saw at the end of the day, Ohio State's talent kind of took over. Uh, Ohio State was just the more physical football team. They ran the ball extremely well towards the end. And, you know, with Mayan Williams and Trayvon, and Trayvon Henderson being there at the end of the day, you know, that's going, you know, that that's going to tire out a defense, man. That's definitely going to tire out a defense. And Ohio State just had the, the, throughout the entirety of this game, they just had the longer drives, right? They just, they, for the most part, had the longer drives, tiring out the defense. And Notre Dame, for the most part, it was just, especially in the second half, it was just three and out three and out maybe convert a series here and there but three and out you know Notre Dame just couldn't really sustain those long drives in order for to get Notre Dame's defense to have a damn breather man it seemed like as soon as Notre Dame went to the damn sideline to get some goddamn Gatorade they are they they had to come back out like damn I just I, I need a break you know um we all know that the quarterback I think his name was Buchner for the most part this was the first year starter I know he was a little banged up throughout the game um they just, at the end of the day, man, they just couldn't get the job done. You know, their offense was really, really young. Really the only outside weapon they had was Michael Mayer. I mean, yes, they had some outside guys to make plays, but let's be real, Michael Mayer was by far their best target. They were pretty much, they had someone, they had, they had you know, of course, they had someone guarding him, and then they had someone shadowed, you know, over the, you know, over Michael Mayer. They basically had two dudes literally on Michael Mayer, damn near every single, uh, every single try they could. They knew that he was the ultimate weapon, but... Notre Dame, if they want to try to go for the playoffs, because I think that this year, they actually, despite this loss, I still feel like they have an opportunity because of UNC and just some of their other future opponents. They still might have an opportunity, but if they want to get better, this offense, they need to get better offensively. And they simply just can't rely on the run game and Michael Mayer. They need more of these outside guys to be more involved. This passing attack needs to get better, right? It, it simply just can't be a game managing type style of offense have a serviceable quarterback in there. That's not going to really lose you the game, but it's not going to really win you the big time games. And that and that's been happening ever since with Everett Golston and uh, Deshaun Kaiser and in book, right? They need these big time quarterbacks. And that's, that's honestly been the missing link that Notre Dame or one of the missing links that Notre Dame has had, right? Because at first we blame the talent. Then we blame the coaching. Then we blamed uh, the the offensive philosophy or, or the defensive philosophy. Well, now it's the, we, it's the quarterback. Like we all know, it is the quarterback and their inability to get these skill position players involved in the offense. Because Notre Dame has got talent, 
they've always had talent, even at those uh, even at those outside school position players. They just don't have the quarterbacks that can get them the football on a consistent basis, right? Even with C.J. Stroud having, and, and, and C.J. Stroud didn't play his best game today. You saw Marvin Harrison Jr. get involved. You saw Ameka Abuka get involved. You saw some of these other guys get involved. And if you're a Notre Dame fan, you're wishing, damn it, I really wish we can say the same thing about this. Because even with Notre Dame playing the best they could, it was the best they possibly could, at the end of the day, this offense just can't get the job done for Notre Dame. And, you know, there's only so much you can do. There's only so much you can do in order to try to hold off of a, against a top three talented football team in America. So, um, obviously, if you're an Ohio State fan, if there's some, some quick things, too, you got to be excited about your defense. Um, the defensive line was a, was way more disruptive compared to what you guys were last year, especially against these top-ranked top, top ranked offensive lines. Um, Notre Dame has a, has, uh, I think, has a solid offensive line. Um, so you got to be happy about that. They were extremely disruptive. Um, Eichenberg was extremely impressive with the linebacking position. Um, I think your secondary has got to be proud as well. They looked really, really fast, great, and, uh, uh, and, you know, in the open foot and tackling. Um, it just sucks. If you're Notre Dame, I mean, I, I just know that this is a tough pill to swallow because once again, your offense. Your 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 the, the offense just, just the it's just the inability for these guys to capitalize and this defense is doing everything in their power to get the damn ball back. I mean the fact that you held Ohio State one of the highest scoring offenses in America last year to only twenty one points is a win of itself and this offense just can't keep up and this is one of the biggest reasons why Notre Dame can't win out can't win these they can't win these big matchups they can't beat the alabama they can't beat the clemson's they can't beat the ohio states of the world they can't beat the georgias because they're off because of their the the offense's ineptability to 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 be efficient to to score uh with these guys so sucks if you're a notre dame fan if you're a ohio state fan though you gotta be you know again even though uh, uh, let's be honest i even said this too a lot ohio state's Fans definitely feel like this game should have been a, a blowout. This game should have been a blowout. I even thought this game was going to be a blowout. I thought Ohio State was going to put up easily 30 or 40 points, at least 30 points. 21 points seems a little underwhelming. Get it? Jackson Smith and Jigba's hurt, but let's be honest, all these other weapons, we expect this offense to be a lot more, a lot better. So we'll see if this offense can can, can continue to improve, or maybe do, this, do we expose a hole? Do we expose a you know it was a weakness kind of exposed for this team? Are they as, are they not as good as we as what we thought they were? Because Georgia had a very impressive performance. Alabama, for the most part, I mean they played Utah State, so it's kind of hard to say right now. But we're expecting that they're going to have an impressive performance. So we'll see what Ohio State can do. We'll see what they can do. But still, good job by them getting the W against a really good Notre Dame football squad. But anyway, guys, Jan Sports. I'm going to catch you guys later because I I got to get to sleep. I'm tired as all hell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.